How many of you guys remember that slap felt around the country? You know who's got the hardest job tonight? Javier Bardem and his wife are both nominated. Now, if she loses, he can't win! <laughs> He is praying that Will Smith wins. Like, please, Lord. Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it. All right? <laughs> <laughs> it's, that, was a, that was a nice one. OK. I'm out here. Uh-oh, Richard. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. Come the wife's name out your fucking mouth. Wow, dude. Yes. It was a G.I. Jane jump. Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. I'm going to, okay? <laughs> I can, oh, okay. That was a... Uh, Greatest night in the history of television. Okay. I've said this before and I'm gonna say it again. That slap was not really meant for Chris Rock. That slap was meant for everybody. Chris Rock was just a representation of everybody. Because for that whole year and the year before that, everybody and their mother were going in on Will Smith. For a whole year, we all forgot everything that Will Smith accomplished. And all we could talk about was how much of a simp he was for staying with his wife. All we can talk about was how badly his wife was doing him. We basically treated Will Smith like a loser. We've never really respected Will Smith. Probably in the white community, but I understand that in the black community, we never really respected Will Smith. When Will Smith was a rapper, we used to say, oh, he was corny. Will Smith was the original Michael B. Jordan. Remember his rap career? Oh, he don't curse in his raps, it's whack. Nah, 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 jiggy with it. A lot of us grew up on that song, but we don't give it that much respect. But here's the crazy thing. All those songs went platinum. The thing that we all know Will Smith for, besides his rap career, being the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. He took that Fresh Prince role and became one of, the, one of the most prolific actors of our generation. And for a whole year or two, we never gave this man any respect. But anyway, Chris Rock decided to clap back. So he didn't say nothing for a whole year, and he finally decided to clap back on his comedy special. Still hurts! <laughs> I got summertime ringing in my ears, but I'm not a victim, baby. You will never see me on Oprah or Gail crying. You will never see it. I took that hit like Pacquiao. I know you can't tell on camera. Will Smith is significantly bigger than me. We're not the same size. Okay? Will Smith played Muhammad Ali in a movie. He played Muhammad Ali. I played Pookie in New Jack City. Will Smith practices selective outrage. And everybody that really knows, knows I had nothing to do with that shit. I didn't have any entanglements. Who was he hit? Me. <laughs> A nigga he know he could be. That is some bitch ass shit. I shouldn't host, cause her man didn't get nominated for emancipation. What the f so then I do some jokes about it. Who gives a f that's how it is. She starts it, I finish it, okay? That's what the fuck happened. Nobody's picking on this bitch. She started this shit. And a lot of people go, Chris, how come you didn't do nothing back? How come you didn't do nothing back that night? Cause I got parents. That's why. And you know what my parents taught me? Don't fight in front of white people. <laughs> the crazy thing though, right? And I don't know how many of y'all caught it. I'm a fan of battle rap. That particular joke had a double meaning. It was a double entendre. And I don't know if Chris Rock wrote that joke, but whoever wrote that joke for Chris Rock, that's the person that deserved to get slapped. When you think about G.I. Jane, we thinking about the bald head white lady that was fucking shit up, right? So G.I. Jane 2 was a play on Jada Pinkett's bald head, which we did not know she had alopecia. But if you dig deeper into that joke, you realize, right, the lady that played G.I. Jane was who? Demi Moore. Now, I ain't no fan of Demi Moore, 
But the only reason I knew who Demi Moore was because I was a big Die Hard fan. You know who's the actor in, in, in Die Hard? Bruce Yippie Kaye Willis. And you know who Bruce Willis was married to? Demi Moore. Now, I don't want to lose you, okay? Demi Moore and Bruce Willis split up, and Demi Moore got with a significantly younger man, Ashton Kutcher. Do you see the similarities? I'm going to throw the pictures up. This is the similarities. Demi Moore, Jada Pickett. Ashton Kutcher, Agus Alcina. That joke was so fucked up on so many levels. If you really dug deep into that shit, I could see why Will Smith slapped the shit out of Chris Rock. I'm going to be real with you. The things a lot of people like to do is stand on the outside and say, if that was me, I wouldn't do that. But to be honest, I never do that. You don't know how emotions are going to hit you when they hit you. And you can learn so much just from this particular incident. For years, or for two years, people were destroying Will Smith. For two years, people were destroying Will Smith's manhood. People were questioning his manhood. People was questioning him because of the things that his wife did to him. And the one time he reacted, it pretty much almost destroyed his career. That's something that happened in life. People never take in consideration the things that make you react the way you react. They only take into consideration when you react. So somebody could poke at you, poke at you, poke at you, poke at you, and you could ignore them, be the bigger person, not react to them. And then eventually, because we're all humans, we're going to get tired of it. And the day we react could be the worst decision we make in our life. And that's exactly what happened to Will Smith. I feel so bad for Will Smith and... On top of that, I feel bad for Chris Rock. I feel bad for both of them. That's a friendship that's probably never going to mend. But even when it comes to friendship, when it comes to friendship, one thing I did hear, and I don't know how true it is, but I did hear Chris Rock saying that, you know, he's kind of disappointed or he was sad because Will Smith was supposed to be his friend. Now, me as a friend, I don't care how much jokes I tell. If I know something is going to hit my friend on a personal level, I'm not going to do it. You understand what I'm saying? I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to embarrass my friend in public. I could tell. It's certain jokes you can tell without telling certain jokes, if that makes certain sense. I don't think Chris Rock wrote that joke, man. There's no way Chris Rock could have wrote that joke. If Chris Rock wrote that joke, I feel as though he should take some form of responsibility for what happened. If he wrote that joke, he should take some form of responsibility for what happened. Now, I know everybody's saying, oh, Will Smith, it's Will Smith. He's supposed to know better. He's supposed to be a role model. Will Smith is a human being. And what Will Smith did is something that we always say in the black community. Yo, I'm going to smack the shit out you. I'll smack the taste out your mouth. Stop playing with me. We all, we, you know what I'm saying? We all be talking, but when somebody finally put that, that ish in motion, then we sit back and be like, oh, how you do that? I can't believe you. But I will say shout out to uh, Chris Rock for capitalizing on that whole situation because I believe he did get a Netflix special and he got a check. So he got the check and he did what he's supposed to do. So shout out to another Black King for winning. I just hope that, you know, him and Will Smith could mend this. And I hope that Will Smith could come back from this.